broken generation. Bat. And we're back, people. Yeah, yeah. Every week we're back. People. Energy. Every week we're back, people. Yeah, yeah. Different vibes this week, actually, because... Different flavours, yeah? We've been doing early on, like, a Sunday. Yeah, facts, but facts. this week, we're, like, midday, Saturday. Facts. Very special day. Sun's in the air. No, don't try and know... I'm saying the sun's out, innit? The, the sun's out. Like, 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 it's a very... And probably the most special day. Oh, it's very special. That's a fact. That's a fact. today... It's a fact. It's Sabbath, innit? It's Saturday. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 it's a Sabbath, it? Mr. Henry's birthday! Boop, boop, boop. Applause, guy. applause. What do you get for your birthday, big man? Do you still get, like, do you no. wake up in the morning and get anything? No, no. No breakfast made or nothing. Oh, no. No, no, no. I get a card. Oh, you got a card, though? Yeah, I got a card. You shake it. You have a little something in there? Yeah, no, no. Well, when you pass 25, you don't get money in the cards from. Well, sometimes. Nah, that's like great great grandparents. Oh, yeah, they're still yeah, a bite. I don't even remember. They how might slide exactly. They might slide you a five yeah. or a ten, but and anyway, they don't spend that all at once. Facts. Nah, because so what's, what's the plans? What's the? I know we're like what we're like in that limbo of lockdown again. Facts. Everywhere. Facts. You can kind of go out, but you can't really do anything. But you can. So any plans? Do you know what? Um, I stopped celebrating my birthdays <laughs> after thirty, in it. After thirty, okay. I've been like, nah, not really trying to celebrate too touch. But yeah. Nah, but we need to celebrate the fact we made another year. Facts. I hear that. I hear that. I hear that. But yeah, you know, it's up to you. Everyone's different. It is that. I feel that their birthdays. So birthday wishes. Anything that you woke up and said, you know what? Between this year, between now and next year, I'm gonna achieve. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's always this. the same thing every year. Just love and prosperity, innit? That's all I want, man. Oh, okay. that's that's nice to that's nice to hear, man. Love I know it's a lie. I know you woke up with a big list. <laughs> nah, not even a big list, fam. So no it's success, true. no nah, 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 money, nah, nah, nah. no nah, 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 nah. power, nah. just nah. love. It's love and prosperity, man. That's and nice. good health. And good health. It's important, fam. It's important. It's the most important. Well, I don't know about love and prosperity. Pro- that word. But I know health is. So what's been going on, man? We've had a, what? Few week gap few between weeks gap. Few weeks gaps. A lot of busyness. Oh, that's just life, constant isn't it? Just right <laughs> now, isn't it? Like... We'll speak <laughs> and I'll be stuff. like, yo, I'm free this day. You'll be like, ah, oh, I'm not. And yeah, then you'll message yeah. me. I'm, I'm back and forth. Yeah, but we're, yeah, but we're yeah. here, fam. We're here. We are here. And like we said last time, we're here for the people. Every like, time. We could be somewhere else doing Facts. other things, but we're here. Facts. So how is everybody doing? The sun's back out. As Mr. Henry mentioned, summer is here. Summer's on us, right corner. Yeah, summer is on us. I can't deny. I haven't got that. I haven't got that summer body. I haven't oh. even been working on it or nothing. But I'm kind of slim. I was saying, nah, nah, you are. I said, I said, I'm slimming out. I'm slimming slim. out. I'm and you're in a shirt today. Is it like, are you in a shirt for birthday? Or? Yeah, this is just a birthday shirt. Oh, it's the birthday. I'm, I'm trying glad to you didn't come in a birthday suit. <laughs> yeah. Facts. <laughs> That's facts. calm. Facts. That's calm. So, um, what have you been up to, man? How, how you been? What you been doing? Usual stuff, man. Got a new book coming out. I said that last time. So I've got two books coming out actually. Yeah, one's like a freeness, right. one's like a, a quick free one, like just online. E- so where e-book. where people can get that? Just uh, just anywhere. Like I'm gonna put it up on PDF just to download okay. on my socials. Then yeah, yeah. probably on the Amazon 99p kind of download. Then I got another book coming out in June. So it's so whatever. In it, I'm always trying to be creative. Trying you to be are though. You trying. are. You are. How's the other trying. podcast going? How's the two black? Good minds? fam. Shout out to P. Shout out to Kafson. Two black minds, two black minds. It's going good, fam. It's going good. It's going good. So you sound busy. I'm not busy, busy, fam. No, I'm busy, but I'm not. I'm not um, productive. That's the thing. But I need, I need, I need some more checks coming my way. You know, so even though, even though I'm busy, I'm not not earning more money. You get me? So that's that's the thing. Nah, I hear that. I hear that. I need the checks. I hear that. I feel like I'm in exactly the same place. So what are you saying, though? You're busy, fam. You're always busy. Yeah, (laughs) but I'm same like you. I'm not busy. Still in the hood, though. Yeah, of constructive things. Yeah. So and obviously family is always first. Facts. So regardless if it's money or not. Facts. A lot I've got a lot of family commitments. Yeah, yeah. Obviously baby due soon and yeah, all yeah. of that. And then other than now, I'm trying to just do things I enjoy, man. You only got one life, you know. That's what I'm you saying. You only got one life, you gotta enjoy to, everything, man. You gotta to enjoy just do things. things I enjoy. So we're gonna go straight in. Topic number one. Like I feel like I'm rusty, like I need to Loosen up a <laughs> yeah, bit, yeah, yeah. warm up. So we'll go straight in. 
and let the people them know. I'm gonna start a new like intro to start. To start. Rather than saying so. Okay. What's the new one gonna be? I don't know. I've off the top of my head I actually don't have it. So you could say uh therefore, that's always a good oh, like, therefore. therefore, nevertheless, addition, additional okay. Those, okay. Kind of, those kind of words, isn't it? Those kind of makes you sign more. No, but I don't know if nevertheless can start a conversation. Or here again. Or No, we can't say here again because we say okay, again yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Can't say we're back because we're back every single New topic. segment. New segment. New segment. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Today on this segment of the podcast, we're going to be talking about are we only great in death? Now, first of all, holy per death's been happening. A whole leap. No word of a lie. Deaths happen every day. So yeah. I don't want to disrespect anything, but there's been some bigger names that's been getting a lot more publicity. So obviously RIP DMX. Yep. Darkman X. Who else? What, Prince Philip? Prince Philip. Um, I've seen recently, and this is bad because I don't remember the guy's name, but he was from Digital Underground, so another UK okay. hip-hop guy. Uh, Black Rob. Oh, yeah, Black Rob. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. I'm only saying people that I've seen, like you said, there, on social media. There's a lot. But just who I've seen recently come up. A lot of celebrities. We, I was going to say, I said in a previous podcast, that um, a lot of deaths that's happened to a lot of people that are out of my kind of context yeah yeah so people that i wouldn't necessarily know who they are so they might be famous to other people but to me they wouldn't be because i don't know who yeah. they are maybe they're like old actors so you know so rest in power to all of them Definitely. r.i.p so this question is really really prominent i think we've had like just speaking we've had like over three million i think deaths covid deaths oh, um, really? on the register globally so deaths are all around us to yeah. be honest and we have to face that reality um oftentimes when death is on our doorstep someone is someone that's close to us yeah so this question is great so the question really is are we only great in death yeah do we only have purpose after our death not in our life so what's your thoughts man do you know what it's been ever since i had I had a conversation yeah and someone said to me you see so much more people at a funeral than you do at like a wedding or a birthday party it's because weddings cost money from no, but the after part. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, yeah. You know, like not the actual wedding. Oh, the celebration. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Li- you're limited because I'm. But the part after. Yeah. Like, and the reality. same with birthday parties. That's a reality. They don't really cost money. Like, you might have to bring a gift. But they're saying you'll see so much people there than you would. I, I, I mean, you would see so much people that would want to celebrate your life after you've died. Yeah, yeah. And talk about how amazing you were after you died. But don't really speak about it when you're still here. Yeah, facts. You know, like they say, living legend. Yeah. Like they would regard, and I'm only talking because of the, this is the context I understand it from, like Jay-Z yeah, is yeah. a living legend. Yeah. So he was recognised. So he's one of the rare ones that we celebrate. Yeah. yeah. As to say, you know what? I think he'll contribute the same in death as he would. In life, yeah. In life. Um, to pull it in a different context as well, I had the same conversation around Tupac and someone said to me he wouldn't have had as much of an impact as he had if he'd have stayed alive if he would have been alive they okay. said i would put him to nas so nas is massive amazing rarely in people's top five he's in rapper's top five yeah yeah, yeah. he's a rapper's rapper yeah yeah but like commercially like yeah, you put facts. in the J, you put in the facts. big m&m yeah, yeah nas rarely gets in there and they said like tupac they said they like how they viewed it was that he would have done like a Nas like he would have been amazing he would have probably been the rapper's choice yeah but he wouldn't have been as prominent as he is commercially yeah that's interesting yeah that's interesting so that's kind of like the two ways I understand it through my own yeah so how about you how do you understand that question and how does that question mean to you to me like it's twofold whenever someone dies you always want to be someone that gives the flowers yeah like you don't want to be someone that speaks ill of somebody. Yeah, And most people would, would run to say, oh yeah, I knew this person, even if they didn't know him, or just, oh, I'm going to miss this person. Because that's just something nice to say to the families that may see those requests, if it's on social media or blah, 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 or even attended the funeral. So even if you don't know somebody, it might, might just be nice because you're supporting the people around them, yeah. maybe not the person individually. But I do think it's it's a, a true thing that we only celebrate people in our deaths, in their deaths, which I think is something that we should stop doing. Yep. 
I like don't just solely think about them when they died. Even when they're alive, try and celebrate them and do your best. But I just think it's a nat- the natural order. You're yeah, only, yeah, only, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's it natural is. for us to be like, oh, rah. Because in my opinion, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but you, like, if someone is to die, if you, and you're in a relationship with in any way, shape or form, you lose a bit of yourself. Yeah. So, for example, um, one of the guys that I always, I always talk about is a guy, yeah, shout out to Martin, um, living yeah. soul, GFM presenter, just a good guy in the community. Youth worker. Youth worker, yeah. Just yeah. a great human being, passed away. And I was thinking about it. I only, every, right, randomly, I start thinking about him. Yeah. And I can never break a joke and hear him laugh ever again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I've lost that part of me. And it may not be deep, but it's like, I can never have those, go, and go around his house and have those kind of convers- yeah. conversations because he's no longer here. So I've kind of lost a bit of myself. And I think about that more and more when people pass away is that it's not only have we lost them, I've lost my interaction with them as 100%. well. 100%. Um, See, so yeah, I just think it's deep. I just think life is deep like that. Do you know what? And I don't even know why, but I thought about it the other day. And I thought, it's so mad to think like, I've, you know what it was? It was after I listened back to our friendship. You know, we talked about the friendship ones and do we yeah, like yeah, friends. Yeah. And I thought, in a way, we take it for so granted that if they wasn't here, like yeah. anyone, you can't just have a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we take conversations, like even us now, yeah. for, so, like, for so much, to, for granted so much. Yeah that when someone's not here no more, we can't just have that conversation. And it might not even matter or be of any significance. Of it's deep, just yeah, the yeah. conversation yeah, yeah. that you can't have again. Yeah. And I think that's that's the reason why we celebrate people in their death because that's when you realise, rah, I've missed something. Yeah. You know? Um, one of the biggest regrets I have is not, there's two people I didn't see. One person I didn't go and see on like on his deathbed. Um, and I regret, like, I just thought to myself, oh, no, he doesn't want to see me right now. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. You know, he's going through a situation. There's other people that I probably want to see him, so I won't go and see him. And I regret that from from now, like, still years and years later. And shout out to Wilcox. Like, I didn't go to Wilcox's funeral. So that was the okay. first, that was the first funeral. I'm not even supposed to say names, so I don't even know why I said that. But like, all time his funeral, time. Wait, wait. like, that was the first funeral that, like, came from, like, people that I knew. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, right, I'm not even going to go to his funeral. Because that was the first funeral that I was going to go to ever I just thought nah it's just too way too painful so I remember just like don't curse me for this guys but literally be in tears just like oh right he's gone he's passed away I can't even make it to the funeral like I yeah. can't physically get my body up to go so yeah, I was just yeah. like oh I just gotta leave it um, and that's, it's just deep to me I just feel like the whole idea of death and a realisation that death is on everybody's doorstep we're all gonna die yeah yeah of course it's just hard to it's hard to accept, isn't it? It is. So it's should we be like you said? Should we be telling people that they're great day to day? Like facts. So so let's let's practically do that, innit? So I'm still here. So just yeah. tell me how great I am, innit? I enjoy our conversation <laughs> on camera. <laughs> do, do, do they make significant changes to my life? No. But Why? That's no. deep, guys. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're a funny guy. You're a funny guy. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but, but, but we should. Actually, we should. No, but it's go difficult. On. Go on. It is difficult. Like you said, it, it is shouldn't difficult. be difficult. Why is it difficult? It's, do you know why it's difficult? To some extent, no, Am, amongst men, I think it's difficult only because we don't like being vulnerable. We don't like sharing our emotions, in it. Yeah. So that's the only reason why I think it's, it's it's hard for us to do it. But it's not hard. It's not hard for me specifically, just because I've dealt with those kind of issues before, yeah. in it. No, but I'm saying you could have a great conversation. Or a great perspective. Is that what I am, fam? I'm just a great no, conversation. I'm, I'm, so I'm telling you what it could be. So it could be a great conversation. You <laughs> yeah, know what? That was a great conversation. Oh, you have a great perspective. Like, I'm talking more like... Don't talk about me anyway. Talk about in general. Life. Yeah, and then anyone in general. Like, I'm yeah. talking about celebrating your life and coming out. So, obviously, I read things. I see things. I've seen someone say about DMX. Yeah. So, obviously, rest in peace, DMX. Influence he has was amazing. Um someone came out and said like someone i don't know if it was a family member or someone from his camp yeah came out and said um yes amazing man but please don't forget that he had his demons yeah facts don't don't like basically overshadow his achievements and only show that because that's not gonna help other people but i saying we need to highlight he had his demons and when he was at his worst and needed support, people weren't really there for him. Like a lot of people turned their back yeah, and facts. said, you know, he's gone, he's this, he's that, he's a drug addict. Yeah, that's a fact. Now them same people are saying how amazing he is, but when they needed him, 
or when he, he yeah, yeah when yeah. he needed them like family whoever it is i can't remember yeah. who, but they were just saying obviously now they're saying about how amazing he is how great he is but we, the influence he had but when he was at his lowest point yeah. they didn't really so the truth of that reach out for him not just just to use him as a case study yeah. it's only in my opinion it only relates to the context you know them in like dmx to me I've never met the guy, but no. musically he was dope. Yeah, yeah. So I can course. comment even after his death. I can comment on how his music affects. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And that's it. If you were his friend, yeah, then you could be more accountable to him, or anyone. Just use him as a case study, though. Yeah, you're more accountable if he's in his dark period. Why aren't you there to help and support yeah. him? But for us who are just fans of a person or someone who's just on the peripheral, then yeah, we can't really. Yeah, well, but we are going to celebrate. Like, and like, that's, and be, that's, as a fan, you celebrate on. their life as well. So if he brought out an album, regardless yeah. of what's going on in his personal life, yeah. you would think that album's amazing. Yeah, if facts. you had an opportunity to tell him, yeah, you would. You would say to him, yo, this is amazing. This is great. Yeah. Obviously, that's all we see. So and life I, or death, we're going to think he's and, great. And anybody like that. So let's, we can use him as a case study, but we can say that to anybody. Like if my context for you, if I know you like personally, then if anything happens in your life yeah. and I know about it and I don't do nothing, then quote unquote people could say oh rad Dean not really Dean's not really his brethren yeah, yeah. just faking it but if if my context to you was only that we do a podcast and that's it yeah. then I can only talk about us as, as a yeah, yeah. In, that, in that context how it went on the podcast and the same thing with anyone like we've had deaths in this city people that we've passed on and they may have you may have only been in contact with them for a short period of time and you can only attest to those short period of time yeah. So when you turn up to their funeral and say great things, it's only because you've only been in relationship with them for a certain period of time in a certain context. And the same thing with everybody, isn't it? We said, when we can, someone who you know, if they're in need, then try and help them and support them the best way you can. But again, we're human. So we, we all have faults. So we're not all perfect. It's a deep on. one, man. This instantly <laughs> went in with a deep one. You picked up on this one properly. Like, <laughs> this one, this one touched the nerve, innit? No, do you know what it is? Because I've been talking about this for a while, yeah, and that is one of the things that haunts me as a person, is that one day, someone is gonna like my mem the memory of me is gonna be forgotten on Earth, yeah. Like my kids will remember me, then my kids' kids will see a picture of me and be like, oh, that's that's yeah, a, yeah. and then my kids' kids' kids probably won't even know my name. No. And there's gonna be a time when no one's gonna be like, oh, rah, remember when Dean did this? Oh, remember remember when? Oh, that was funny. Blah blah blah. It's just there is no memory of me ever again. I don't exist, and that haunts me. So okay. when I think when I think about things like legacy or wanting to achieve, reason why I write so much, the re reason why I'm trying to put stuff out is because to some extent, ego driven, I guess, but is um I want a legacy. Yeah. I want my memory to continue after I've gone, in any way, shape, or form. Deep in it. Sorry. No, but it's sorry, 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 you know. Sorry. Too no, deep, but man, no, sorry. I hear that though, and I hear what you're saying, and I think yeah. I've um, like I've had the conversation before. Yeah. And said. But if I did die, if I suddenly died, yeah, like my kids will always have this. They'll always be able yeah, to yeah. see me yeah, yeah. somewhere. Like as long as obviously YouTube or video is still yeah. accessible, times are change, but there'll be records of me yeah. somewhere to see. Yeah. And in a hundred years, whatever that looks like, my kids' kids' generation, yeah. they'll be able to go back and say, oh, this was my dad or this was my granddad. Look, he was on this or he was there. Or That's some of the great things about technology, like music, yeah. Like, that, like, back when they did that kind of music, yeah. he did music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, they could tell them I was great. Yeah. Because they've got a record. Yeah. That, and I'm just me. Like, but they could say, oh, back in his generation, yeah. he changed music. You know that one? Obviously, I didn't, but they could say Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And I, I think that's what... Oh, this is deep, fam. I was going to no, talk about... I was going to talk about it. legend, didn't it? Yeah. So when people pass away, their memory and their stories get passed on to other people. Um, yeah. And your interaction with that person gets passed on to other people. And you can make it a thing of legends. Yeah. Of so no, no, no disrespect to people who have, like, religious figures. But those religious figures could have just been great people at their time. And when they passed away, those stories me, got let spread. Me my drink, I've already, I said this previously. <laughs> so that, they could be um, stories about their life, their existence could have just been exaggerated, exaggerated. Mm -hmm. And given this legacy, legend status, yeah. when we look back and say, oh, this person was like a prophet or this person was like a huge spiritual person. Yeah. When technically they might have just been a great person that loads of people that just yeah, talked to. Yeah. And, and, then, and the story and the legend just continued. And we can do that the same way our ways. So even when we think about DMX, one of the things that we just do as human beings is like, we always try to think about positive things. Of course, of course. So I don't like, for example, Martin Luther King, what do you know him for? 
Yeah. You know, you know, for his, his I have a dream speech, yeah, this, that, and the other. But really, and most of us don't talk about it. Right, man was a man loved white women, you know. Yeah, man was he, man was married, but was sleeping around like a man, yeah. man. So we don't we don't necessarily put the bad things out about people because no, that doesn't help the situation, in my estimation anyway. But cool. When I pass away, when I do, please only tell you the good stuff. About me. <laughs> only tell the good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> talk about how you was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? I wouldn't mind like in like 120 years, someone starts saying, "Yo, Dean was a prophet." Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's got <laughs> Had that life, yeah. Yeah, you, nah, got that, you got that Heidi Selassie. I broke Boy. away, and you know, start your own religion. That life, isn't it? Oh, I say, <laughs> you know what? We always touch upon like serious conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But obviously, we do it our own way. And do you know what? Are we only great in death? Means so much to so like someone else might say. Yeah. This is what this means to me. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, like my context is very much related to like the entertainment scene only because that's just the way I've understood it. Yeah, you, yeah. You've obviously got a whole different understanding of what that word means to you or what that sentence yeah. or few words mean to you. Well, one thing I was going to say is, and again, context is really important. I used to lead funerals. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So like I would be the minister that stood at the front and led the funerals, gone to people's houses after they died or someone passed away and try and console them. Oh, so like okay. I've faced death in those, in that regards and in yeah, those yeah. contexts. I've been a leader, I've led a whole funeral and only had six people in the building, including the dead body. That's so I mean, so I've been, so I've, so I, and I've been to, I've led funerals that I've had like 300, 400 people in yeah. attendance. So I know both, I know both extremes and also been there when someone has died. Okay. Worked at, work at a hospital and seen like physical bodies that have been that's got the the cover over and they're yeah. just moving through corridors and people they really don't know if you haven't worked there you don't know what's happening yeah so i've faced death in those regards and because i've brought up as a christian i've had to think through the whole idea of death anyway okay yes and the yes. whole idea of okay this is just a transition to the next life but when you combat those on the grind level in reality you know that it's quite a scary and horrifying thing so Definitely. have you so a question i'd have for you is have you um seen death um in what like physical or somebody's body like only in like the signs of like opposite role i was at college a guy had a heart attack mm. and obviously we seen him fall okay then but not not like personally up front yeah yeah have i seen death no okay so so one of the contexts i have is i've had a loved one pass and I had the phone call so so and so's passed away can you come to the house I've okay. gone to the house and seen the body, stared at the body for like a while or had conversations with people around the body. And it's because of those contexts, I think it really kind of defines who I am. Okay, yes, and yes. Or at least defines how I think. Whereas other people may be like, oh, death just happens and it may not be a reality for them, but I've seen death close up. Does that make sense? And I've seen, oh. I've heard the weeping, the crying in the room. I've seen all of those things. And I've seen, looked at the body and said, right, is, it, is he going to wake up? Like seeing, like expecting him just to like open his eyes and yeah, just wake yeah, up. Yeah. And that not happened, so... So yeah. I've had that conversation yeah. and I've been in that environment, but I didn't go in the house. So I was probably minutes, arrived probably minutes after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously- Same, same thing for me. Same I, for me. It took, like I, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't somewhere that I was comfortable or yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't at that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I wasn't there to go and say goodbye yes like yeah, at yeah. the time that wasn't for me at the time like i was there and then obviously the coroner's arrived or well, the ambulance arrived the coroner's arrived yeah that happened and then it wasn't same like with open caskets like if people have open caskets then it's yeah. not i'm i don't feel the urge to go and say okay, goodbye yeah, like yeah, that yeah 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 no, I, I don't know what it is i, I don't know no, i don't I know if that is I what that, that is but i don't have the urge to do that yeah. that's not to say i don't understand death. yeah 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 but that maybe comes down to this sentence as well. Like, are oh, we only great in the... Maybe I just want to remember the good things. Facts. And talk about Facts. how alive someone yeah, was. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like... And do you know what? That is... And that they were great when they were alive. That was a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My last memory is them See, lying yeah. stone cold still in and a coffin or wherever they are. I fully respect people that, that do that as well. Because I fully... I get it as well. I understand all of that. And that's how I was when I was younger as well. I was not wanting to see the body. Yeah, life, man. But well, I guess some people use it as closure as well. Yeah, yeah, facts. And we've got, like, we've t I talked about it previously, like, some of the things that I enjoy about it, not necessarily enjoy, but one of the things that I appreciate and try to um, jump on board with is when we mould the graves. Yeah, 
Yes. Like for me, that's when that first happened, that's like a really, really like solidified it for me. Like, look, we're all here. We sing the songs, we bury the casket and we don't just walk away, but we actually f- fill and mold yeah. funerals. And that's, that's new. That's only like our cultures that do that, you know, oh, not, a lot, not a lot of cultures do that. They oh, so they usually finish and finish and walk, walk away, away and then and the grave the, site. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Very true. Very true. For me, that's just I've a really seen. closing. That's and you know closing. what? I think the funerals I've been to that I can remember they have what well, you say mold the grave yeah the funeral i went to where they didn't yeah that was strange to me yeah it just like, don't, don't feel like it's finished left, yeah and like i'm still like looking around like so is no one gonna yeah yeah, yeah. you know and it's not for me to say or do anything everyone's yeah, got yeah. their own way of dealing with things yeah but i'm so used to people sticking around <laughs> yeah turning like, the asda bag to the shoes, yeah, people putting the shoes getting a, getting a shovel jumped. yeah like, i was so used to that yeah, yeah that's yeah. what i've seen yeah um that yeah when people just finished yeah. said bye and everyone walked off and then obviously the guys come over and they do it i thought like and it was mad because in my head i thought like is that a disrespect yeah like i get that I you get know it. like is that a disrespect like, yeah i get that does do they not deserve that their family obviously it's all different but that's just but different cultures and yeah different, yeah yeah it was yeah. it was it was a different experience and i've yeah. and everyone's got their own experience i've never I've, me, never I've never been to a um cremation yeah, I've been to a cremation. cremation. That must be different as well. So that, that was mad. And my um, a family member, I would have beat them up. Ah, so I went to my granddad's. They were only little. Mm. Obviously, everyone's crying. A family member ass little. Um, his granddad crying in the box. Wow. Is that is that why? I said that's like it puts into real perspective, mm. like the yeah. understanding of children. Yeah, 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 like yeah. everyone's crying. The family's sad, yeah. and they asked. His granddad crying bless in the it, box. Bless it. My, do you know what? When I was younger, I never went to funerals when people's death. I think I was shielded from all of that. Yeah. So um, it's interesting when children have to face it. But what's your, what's your summary, fam? What do you reckon? I don't know. But we just took it. We just <laughs> like. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think, I think we are in a culture of um celebrating people in death rather than celebrating them when they're alive. I think we need to start celebrating people's life more, man. If it's a birthday. Talk about great times. We could wow. We do it all the time. Yeah, on facts, here. facts. That's another, like, that's another episode. We celebrate though. our life still. <laughs> yeah, like, we do. We, we talk do. about his, We talk about things we've done yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. Jokes, laughs. So I guess we do it. But I think we birthdays, uh, christenings, weddings. Like yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to take more celebration in those and be a part of it rather than just when someone dies, everyone gets together. Yeah. That's my summary. I think we need to start celebrating life a bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the exact same thing, man. Celebrate life, also celebrating death as well. Um, yeah, yeah, of course. But you know, man, I understand. I understand the complexities of it. So, and we're both great, yeah. Well, in life, we're trying to be. We? We're trying. We're striving after it, at least. Okay, good stuff. We'll look at that's what greatness <laughs> looks like. <laughs> People, let us know. Um, yeah, yeah. Are we only great in death? A simple question you could have a whole different context or a different view to what me and Henry have. Back on this segment. So I'm doing it now. Yeah, that one got a little bit deep. As they always, always does. do, don't always they? They does, always, always do. Always does. They always do. And I think it's good because we don't ever just stick to the topic and keep to the topic. We always make sure that we go all over the place because yeah, everyone man. has different views and everyone has different opinions. Right, this one, this one links Lad. massively. Like this one actually really, really does link. It does. Um, and obviously very, very relevant at the time. So the topic for this one is called George Floyd, the civil right activist. So just before I get into why that topic... Obviously, our previous discussion, are we only great in our death? So now, George Floyd is regarded as probably someone that's changed history. Like, Mm. his name is now probably associated to a lot that's happened, especially over the past year with the Black Lives Matter movement, with the riots, with the everything that's happened in America. Fact. George Floyd name is associated to that. So is he only great in death? I think he's someone 
that will be celebrated a lot more or is definitely celebrated a lot more in death than he would be when he was alive. Mm-hmm. Um, and like you said, just because he wasn't in our view, we didn't see him. He wasn't someone that we knew until he died. So link the two. The reason I said George Floyd, the activist. So I think his influence on culture in the last year has probably been one of the biggest influences for a civil rights movement for a long time. Okay. So I'm not saying that George Floyd is an activist. Okay. But I'm saying his name is going to go down as someone that sparked an uproar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So there's not to say that what he's done or what happened to him has changed history, but the actions that got taken in his name. Okay. So we're talking in his name. So um, there's been people throughout the years. I'm not going to get specific. I don't want to get things wrong. Uh, People such as Rodney King. There's been actions that have been done over the years that have sparked spark something spark yeah, of course, something of course of course is george george floyd now one of those that is dope so i think so you're exactly right in saying it's the response to it that's yeah, made yeah. the movement because not to not to sign disrespectful in any way shape or form but there have been many people specifically black specifically males specifically in america yeah. who have died at the hands of police even police custody whether it's being shot killed or in George Floyd's case, um, suffocated or his knee mm-hmm. on his neck. But for some reason, we globally have gathered around this death of George Floyd. Maybe yeah. it's because it was filmed. Maybe it's because it was so long and we were seeing someone's life like yep. go um, that it's sparked a change. For example, Rosa Park. Yeah. In one context, all she did was say, oh, I don't want to move. Yeah. But that sparked a revolution. Yes. That sparked the, the boycotts of the, the buses. Um and there's a number of other things that happen around the globe that sparks a revolution. Yeah. Or we use, or people use to spark a revolution. So I think, yes, George Floyd, maybe his life, because I know a number of people, um, Candace Owen, I think somebody in America who talks about it and says, oh yeah, but his life, he wasn't a great person. Yeah. Like, look what he's doing. He was probably selling this, doing that. Yeah, yeah. But it's not about necessarily what he did. It's the, it's the reactions to it. It's the ramifications of wait nobody deserves to die in that manner anyway definitely um and be responding and we've got the reality was it Derek chauvin yeah it's like the guy who's been convicted of yes. murder um so we've got a response out of that and i think real the next question really is what's going to happen now that one person has been um one police officer has been convicted of the death yeah so yeah man george floyd definitely is and there's things in history one's again one's a civil rights question and one's just maybe just history in general yeah. there's one thing that happens that normally sparks a revolution Definitely. or sparks a change so whether it's something as extreme as somebody's death or whether it's just somebody refusing to to move on a bus or whether it's whatever it is in in the uk that we've got kind of um context is from you know stephen lawrence we've got like 20 years i think from his death coming up um so loads of things like that sparks a change Definitely. So is so bringing it over to the UK. Yeah. And I know this is always going to be um, touch grinds and people's going to have their opinion. But yeah. Mark Duggan. Okay. So obviously that was. I'm not saying it was similar. I'm not relating. But obviously that was someone that was seemed to be murdered in cold blood. Mm-hmm. Um. That sparked over here. Yeah. Yeah. So do you see any similarities with the response that we had compared to the response that maybe America had? Yeah, not so. I think one of the things is interesting is that in America you've got a lot of platforms to speak from. Yes, some of them are independent, created from the people for the people, and some are institutions, companies, and organizations. Yeah. CNN, NBC, all of these huge organizations, and you've got social media platforms that are getting a lot of traction and followings. Whereas we in the UK don't have anywhere near shape or form of the opportunities to express our thoughts. Yeah. I think. Maybe we have them within now our own environment, but I don't think we have it to the wider, yeah, to the external. I think in like we do have now, like the uh, GRM dailies, the Link Up TVs, but in com- in but our demographic, definitely. But in comparison to America, oh yeah, yeah, not the Americans at will the have external, yeah, yeah Amer- Americans will have in, specifically social media. They'd have like a thousand 
social media platforms that are all garnering a million followers yeah, yeah, and can make noise. Whereas in the UK, we may have two or three, specifically in our contexts, that kind of make noise. Yeah. And that's if they choose to make noise yeah, yeah, yeah. in regards to that. So um, it's always going to be a different, different differentiation. And it seems like England always follows America. So whenever there's an outrage in America, the UK will either have an affiliation with that and a yep. scream shite. And it's not necessarily done in the opposite way. No, Whereas never. we don't really shite when... The Americans don't really shite when things happen to us in the UK. I mean, that's just the uniqueness of our American and UK relations. But do you think, like you just said, do you think the American, when things do happen in America, because they have got them bigger platforms, yep. that we're shown it more. So if if something does happen in the UK, America's not necessarily going to see things happening yeah. because they're not a part of that bigger platform. So unless they follow UK culture or UK black Facts. culture or street culture Facts. or whatever the culture's called, they're not going to see such a big Yeah, it's not gonna go, It's not going to go on their timeline. Yeah, it's not going to go yeah. on their timeline. It's probably not going to be shared by political members of the parties, like in America, like you said, was it Candace Owen you said? Yeah, yeah. Like she's, and she like a mayor, uh, not a mayor, a um, governor or... No, 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 she's, oh, just, she's, she's, just, she's just a voice. She's just literally okay. um, a voice. So I did see there was a governor that was obviously really pushing the um, George Floyd case and really pushing for justice. Okay. And even Biden came out, didn't he? And, yeah. said, and spoke about it. I don't think we get that. Like I could not see Boris coming out yeah. and really pushing... Any, any kind of Anything. black agenda specifically. No. And I guess that's, again, because of the history of America, that because they had such a civil rights movement that, yeah. which affected them so muchly, the UK never, ne not really had that. We had a small kind of thing in terms of Windrush, yep. um, but never got legislation through governments, even though they've done reports on this, that and the other, but there's never been real changes to legislation and impacted us in terms of how we exist. Yeah. So that's always going to be that difference. It's always going to be that difference. Um, but yeah, man. I think it's interesting because when George Floyd passed away, at his, at his death, in his murder, there was a lot of people globally, whether you're black or whatever, when you saw the video, I don't know, if, have you seen the whole clip? Yeah, yeah, I watched, watched it clip? when it first came out. Any, any human that watched that clip cannot say, cannot say, oh, he deserved it. Yeah, no, not a chance. Everybody says, wait, no, that's, that's not right. That shouldn't have happened. I think that's what unifies us. Whereas other things in other situations don't unify us. Yeah. George Floyd's death unified a nation, unified a globe. Yeah. Whereas other atrocities that happen don't necessarily unify us. St. Vincent, the volcano that's erupted and the, the turmoil that's happening over there, we don't really hear a lot about it in no. the UK and we don't know what they're going through in the UK no. and it hasn't necessarily generated change or affect us. Whereas even though loads of people were probably death has been a lot that's happened out there. A lot of people who have lost housings, who's can't even like, get access to clean water. For some reason, it doesn't resonate with us in the UK or on our, our media systems, and we don't scream and shout about it. So, but it's the same across the whole of the world. Yeah, like facts. There's atrocities going on across the whole world, even in our homelands. Yeah, facts. Like we're not like we spoke about it before. We're not that far away from our homelands. Like we're closer to them than we are closer than we are to England. Facts. Like we're only a few generations away from. Jamaica and then Jamaica only a few generations away from Africa. Facts. But as you said, them things don't really resonate with us. We're no generations away from America. Well, we may have ancestors. But so why do you think? Why do you think we are drawn to the like why are we drawn? Because me, I'm one of them. I've seen you post it before. Mm. I guess you also post you did post about St. Vincent as well, didn't you? So but why are we drawn to that? I have no idea. If <laughs> there's a there's one, some like, we something weird happening in our psyche that we only resonate with Western countries yeah. um, and Western issues and problems. I couldn't tell you, but it's just, it's just, I guess we just don't relate to it. Do, do you think it's because we, like society, relate more to America because they're similar yeah. to what, you know, like if you go to America, to you some, expect yeah. things to be like they are here culturally Whereas similar then, to us yeah. yes but then if you went to africa or not so much jamaica because we're not far away from jamaica but definitely africa where things go unnoticed yep. tens of thousands genocide yep. goes unnoticed yep. 
Is it because we're not really society related? Like we can't relate to them? Can I be honest, fam? Be honest. I know people aren't going to resonate with this. (laughs) People aren't going to resonate with this. But if we're being honest, yes, we do not give a damn about these people. No, hundred percent. That's that's the reality of it. We only care about our own and people that look like us, yeah. and who are affiliated to us. So America looks like the UK. So yeah, we care, yeah, course, we care about them. Australia, to some extent, has has affiliations to us in the UK. Like these other continents that don't affiliate with us, don't have we don't have any market value. They have no market value to us. Like, why is the UK media going to show anything about them? Yeah. Because we don't care. Yeah. And that's, and that's a sad truth. And even down to us as individuals, if we're being honest with ourselves, we don't care. Yeah. Like we care more about America because that's where I get my entertainment from, my media from. That's, yeah, what, yeah, that, that's what's fun have, to me. Like you said, we have that connection. Yeah. And the guy the, yeah, I, I double tap on Instagram are from America, mm-hmm. innit? <laughs> but I don't see them from anywhere else. So uh, even though I'm joking, like I genuinely mean that. Like we, mm-hmm. we don't care about these places around the world because we don't know them and we don't affiliate ourselves to them. Oh, yeah. But stop, but hear about how, what, Instagram's going to get stopped. Right, we're going to scream outrage or if Facebook gets cut, cut off, or we're going to scream outrage or something's happened to Apple, are we going to be outraged because we have affiliation to them. If we hear about these other companies or these other places around the world that we have no affiliation to, we do not care. That's just sad, the sad truth. And you know what? There's a topic up there that says the pressure to be a better man, yeah? It's them things for yeah. me that I struggle with. Like what? I really, really do struggle with and it's a constant battle. What's that? Like I know there's so much going on yeah. away from what's being shown in the yeah, media. Yeah. Like consciously I know there's struggles going on in Africa. There's this. And my struggle is yeah. I should be shedding a light and paying my attention to those things rather than caring about Instagram or knowing that my guy's running for governor, Caitlyn Jenner, sorry, my girl, <laughs> that Caitlyn Jenner's <laughs> running for governor. Like, okay, them okay. things are not really relevant or anything to my life. Yeah, facts, But I know facts. more about that <laughs> yeah, yeah, than yeah. I do about St. Vincent. Yeah, yeah. So that's like my constant struggle. Like, yeah. I need to be a better man. I need to put my attention and my knowledge into things that really matter to me to my culture but it's hard work it's hard work for me to me i've i've how can i say this i'm trying just to learn to care about what i care about in it so okay. there's a book called uh, mark months mark manson i believe his name is yeah. he wrote a book called um not to give a fuck or what's the word and like zero fox given and zero fox given something like that he's got two books oh, okay and i think that's a really interesting point of view I'm trying to only care about what I care about okay. and just be honest with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's loads of things that's happened around the world I have, I can't do anything you about. can't heal the world. That's, that's a fact. I can't heal the world. I'm hardly able to heal my world. You know <laughs> yeah, very you know your, your, own, <laughs> your own little section. Exactly. So, I'm just trying to focus on me and trying to do the best I can for the people around me, innit? And try and be a better example for other people, in it. Go on. But that's what I was saying. So, do you not feel the pressure? I do for the pressure. We get into that now. No, we? no, we won't. We okay, won't. okay, okay, okay. We can, okay. We can talk, because obviously we're on George Floyd, the yeah. civil rights activist. Yeah, yeah. But as always, yeah, yeah. yeah. We digress. We yeah. digress. We, I don't think we're digressing. I <laughs> no, think no, we're no. taking it in a same version, just a, a different, different lane. path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but no, we'll get facts. to the end. We'll get to the same. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um, so when I'm talking about the pressure, yeah, like I think people now are looking around. I think everyone is looking within their self and saying, what can I, well, any conscious mm-hmm. person is looking and saying, like, what more can I do? Yeah. Like, so I've pledged, I haven't yet, but I will do somewhere. Like I've said every month, I'm going to get a book on black history and try and create a library. I've got three children. Like I want them to be able to read and look and not necessarily what's on the internet because everything on the internet's different. Okay. Just some books. So some of them are children, but well, at the moment they are children's books, but I would love to get a bit more, you know, like some things that are really written, some fictional stuff, some non-fictional stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, some real history stuff. So that's kind of like my pledge at the moment. So I've got probably five or six at the moment. So, so would you say that you do feel the pressure to be a better man? No, 100%. And do you feel pressure externally or internally? Is it a pressure you're putting on yourself or is other people's Both. society putting on it? Okay. Like, 
Do you know what I listened to earlier? And I said, that so makes sense. Bash is black boys. Okay. Man said in that, he said, we're all black boys, black boys. We're going to be black men. Yeah. Then we're going to be black men that has to raise black boys. I said, you know what? How, more, how less simple is that? That's deep. That's deep. Like, fam, that's, that's as simple as it is. <laughs> the, pr- the people we are as black boys. Yeah make us black men yeah the black men we are then raises the Produces black boys, the black boys yeah, or black course. girls or it doesn't matter who it yeah, is yeah. i said you know what that was one of them things where i took a minute and sat back and said right even though it's just a little sentence yeah yeah, yeah. it's deep that's true the so meaning is the deep black person i am is now gonna influence the black person my son is or my daughters facts it is 100 percent. yeah so if i've so, seen like i'm getting books in I'm trying to learn. I seem interested. I have conversations. Facts. My son come back and said I did black history at school. Yep. I said, yo, big man, talk to me now. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you if what they're telling you is right or wrong. Yeah, yeah. And why it's wrong. Okay. He said to me, people in America faced, um, what's it called where they get split? Segregation? Segregation, yeah. Yeah. And that people weren't very nice to them. I said, yeah, but prior to that, they were kings and ruled in Africa. They didn't. So when they got to America, it was a different world for them. But that doesn't define the people that were in America. Because yeah, yeah. prior to that, in Africa, they had kingdoms, they had gold, they had everything they wanted. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I said it was like they went to a different place and it was different. So don't really worry about that. Focus more on when they were kings. He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But you know, I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not, so get I'm tell, not no, having him that's learn yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah, yeah. as the start. Yeah, that's a fact. I refuse that's a fact. for him to learn the start fact. of black history yeah, yeah, that's a fact. is slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not having it. Yeah, that's, not good. A chat. that's good. And I'll make him argue with the teacher. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not having it. Yeah, that can't be the start. That no, can't I'm not having start. it. Cause that's, that's like we were taught. Yeah, that's a fact. Black history for me started with, like we said, roots, slavery. You know that one? Or maybe facts. Egyptians. But yeah, they were yeah, not yeah. even told Egyptians are black. Yeah, facts. In every books, every Egyptians pharaoh... Egyptians are light, light skinned. Every pharaoh you see on any Egyptian films back in the day were all white. White. Yes. Not just white, were European white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they're not even my shade. Facts. Like, anyway, I, just, anyway, oh, I, just, I lost it. it. I lost <laughs> it. <laughs> I got mad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. Let's get back to where let's we'll get, go. Let's get to it. Let's get to All it. Right, sorry, I didn't even go let on. you even speak because no, I went off. What I do like about it is that the whole idea that George Floyd's, his life has um, sparked a revolution to some extent, yes. should inspire us to be better people. Mm-hmm. Like even in the death of somebody who may have had a dark past or yes. a dark life, he can still spark something that could change, quote unquote, the world, revolutionize civilization to some extent. Or at least the justice system in America, at least that's a start. Yeah, definitely. And we all can have that same um, encouragement from that. So from, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be your death, it could be from your life. You can spark a generation that, that changes. Maybe it's just it's just your children or it's just the people around you. You can make a difference in the world to some extent. So, And I think that's what has been shown. So do you feel like in years to come, yep. George Floyd would be labeled as a civil right activist do you think his name or do you think it's more his movement would yeah be labeled as it's, that? it's the movement that came after his death that's going to be that's going to be um talked about in history books not necessarily him himself so and the last last on that do you care what his life was like do you personally care of what he did previous to that incident hmm interesting one of, one of the biggest in images that I see was, I don't know if it's his brother, but it's his daughter on the yeah. shoulders of, I think it's his brother, but I'm not sure who it was. And it's it's um, him saying to her, oh, um, your, da- your dad was a hero. Your dad's a hero. Yeah. So to me personally, it doesn't necessarily matter what his life was like, necessarily, because his, his death is what, um, what sparked a revolution. Mm-hmm. Like, all, like, our lives are really important. It's kind of like, I'll tie it in. I'll try and tie it in. Like R. Kelly, yeah? Like R. Kelly's music. Okay, yeah. R. Kelly's music to some extent is dope. Yes. Well, Michael Jackson's music to some extent is dope. But can you separate his music from his life? Yeah. All the dark parts of his life. The same way George Floyd. Can you separate the movement from the man? Yeah. That's, those are the questions, isn't it? That's those are the questions. I ain't saying no more. Yeah, yeah. I'm leaving you there. GC, the Golden City's golden boy. 
Birthday boy. Birthday boy today, innit? <laughs> Feeling like an old man. In this next segment, we will be... You really going to try that, yeah? Outro in the podcast. Yeah. Professional things I'm on now. Okay, okay. Right. Professional things. Because if they only just see back. clips... Yeah. The start, they might be like, oh, actually, they're, they're, they're quite well spoken. Yeah. <laughs> and then they get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna going off on the podcast. <laughs> nah, yeah, that's good, that's good. So we spoke briefly, briefly, briefly earlier about summer, summer, summer here. Are yep. we in summer? Obviously, big at the moment, summer holidays. And Facts. we spoke about that as well, about are you booking your summer holidays? Um we think it's going to be a reality now that you're going to have to have a vaccine. Yep, so they're talking and vaccine. they're going to do the vaccine passport. The vaccine passport, they're talking, yeah. So, are, are, are you <laughs> feeling about that? Remember, I, we started from the start. <laughs> nope, impossible, no way. Um, a are you vaccine about that? passport. So, I'm not planning on going on holiday this year abroad. Okay. So, I'll probably see it out, to be honest. Like, right? I probably will see it out. How you feeling? Calm for me, innit? I haven't had the vaccine yet. I don't, I don't know if I believe you, you know. Like, I feel like <laughs> you're waiting for it to become a bit more popular. And no, then you're no, going to no. say, yeah, I had it like back in 2020. No, I'm not that guy, innit? I'm not no? I would have, if I got it first, I would have been the first one screaming it. Okay. That's, that's, the, that's the truth. But um, shout out to everybody. Yeah. Who's got it. A lot of people I love and care for has got it. That's good. Second one, got it already. Shout out to them. And they're all right. Everyone's so all right. far. So that's far. That's good. That's good. That's good. So far. But anyway, I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. If anything, well, to be honest, I did want to take my kids to France, Disney. Oh, you need but, to, man. That thing but, is amazing still. But I don't know, man. Maybe next year. Maybe I'll stretch it for a year and see what happens. But it's France. I think we see this. We still don't know. We spoke about this. In First what, episode. May last year. Yeah. Was it May we started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So May we're last year, we, and we're talking nearly a year on, and we said it's going to get to the point where they're not going to let you yeah. go on flights or leave. Well, we probably not, said house. And, leave you know, I, I, said even leave said, house. I even said shop. They wouldn't even let you yeah, in the shop. To, to, you know what I mean? So we don't um, know. So we spoke about that quite a while ago. Yeah. And we're at that point now. But I don't know if every country, like I had it's this conversation earlier, a lot of countries rely on um, tourism. Yeah. Uh, are they really going to risk like losing all of that money? Because I still think as much as a lot of people have had the vaccine, there's still a lot of people that haven't had the vaccine. Yeah. But apparently we're like the biggest lead, we're leading in terms of people that's been vaccinated in the Europe or that's in the world. Mad. And we're only from like a little... Mm-hmm. I think we're, we're sitting like 57% of the population, something like that. The public is it's, it's huge. There's loads that that's taking it. So, all of you people that still get shout out to you, comment below if you've grown a third leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was well, yeah. It'd be good to um, it'd be good to have someone on here and talking about their effects. And we're not talking about like the bad. You know, like there is gonna be like one person at twenty five thousand that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. said they've now got a brain tumor or yeah. something. Well, like, a be, lot of people to have be got honest, it. there's a lot of people that there's been a lot of um, ramifications. People that are saying that they've that's quote unquote deaths from the vaccines. I don't know. I don't know what to believe or not to believe these days, to be honest, King. So, But that's why we need someone on here to say, I had it. it. I feel comfortable. Maybe when we bring on a guest yeah, that yeah. is not related to well, that, to, to be honest, they may be someone that's had it. Everyone I know that's taken it has always had a um, a reaction. Okay. So the next day they're either off poorly, their arm, yeah. not their arm, but they like, feel like they're vomiting, nausea. Um, so whatever, innit? But that's with any... That's with any um, vaccination though isn't it apparently yeah because they were saying before like malaria going to africa like you had to have the malaria jab yeah doesn't matter if you're for it against it it's you not have optional have it. yeah, yeah and they were saying like people didn't make such a big uh Hoorah. noise about that yeah. or no one really said anything you knew the risk you took it yeah um so, so yeah. I just, I just people, talked about people just didn't really understanding that's the rise in conspiracy theories. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's the issue. Like, the people that are for it don't really understand why are you against it. Yeah, like, yeah. it doesn't make sense. Like, you take this to go here, you take that to go there, you take aspirin when you got a headache, you take paracetamol. Facts. Why are you not taking Facts. 
Facts. Another vaccine. And I, and I stick with what I said at the start anyway. I think episode one or episode two. Yeah. Until it affects my pocket. Yeah. Then I'm not going to take it. When I, as soon as it starts affecting my pocket, if I can't travel and I want to travel, then boom, yeah, I'm wow, taking that's it. Not even a, that's saving your pocket because you don't have to pay right. to travel. So maybe you just do it at a smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like when people are saying, yo, we're going here, we're going there, rather than saying, oh, I'm not really on it. You say, oh, I had the vaccine, so can't not do even letting me yeah, out of the country yeah, yeah, right now, it. brother. It's a good excuse, man. I can't even go out beef, they're not <laughs> letting me out of the Yo, I'm in a lot now. <laughs> I can't even take the kids away, car. They're not letting me out of the country. Safe right pocket, now. safe pocket. Nah, nah, I hear that, I hear that. <laughs> oh, it's, it's a mad one, man. It is, anyway, it is a mad one. These summer vaccines, like, I'm glad we spoke about it early, though. Yeah, facts. So if anyone ever went back, we spoke about this Early. a long time ago. I don't know if we were before the curve or the spike of people talking about it, but we it was on our radar early. Facts. Yeah, we're front runners in this COVID thing. And that. So we've wrapped up another one. We have successful. Birthday special. Like should I add like balloons and banners? That's right, and- should I add all of that? But what yeah. I can do, what I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to put like a baby picture of you. Big one, you ain't got no baby pictures of me, fam. Big one. Yeah. I've known you a long time, you know, B. This guy, yeah? Long time. Like, I know you from days when pictures used to go in the Citizen with your name <laughs> under me. <laughs> like, yeah. remember back in the days, you have got that one. <laughs> you remember you used to have like the Citizen and it would say, happy, happy birthday, birthday, lots yeah, of yeah. love. Like, I know you from them days, B. Nap. Yeah, that's mad. I'm sure you had one of them. I've got, yeah, facts. I've yeah, got I'm, one of them. I'm sure yeah, I might have one. <laughs> <laughs> that life. That's what I'm saying. I know you from them days. But nah, happy birthday. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Appreciate it. More Many life. happy returns and all of that. We can toast empty cups. Thanks for being great. Appreciate it. Ah, that is Appreciate me. Appreciate I hope that that section saved because that is really appreciative of you and no, if anything good. did happen that's good i'm playing that segment that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> and saying i appreciated him when he was here yeah and look yeah, on you yeah, lot. Yeah. <laughs> facts 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 oh well all right man it's gonna be a nice day so what no plans at all and then whatsoever you're just gonna chill for the rest of the day i'm ahead time yeah buy some kicks that's about it. What's the cues looking like? I haven't been in I yet. I haven't even been tying myself. No, I ain't got a clue. I can, well, I seen like driving past. I see like pre marks gone right. <laughs> was it madness? Done a few spirals. <laughs> like we're talking two, three hundred people, eight o'clock yeah, in the yeah, morning yeah. and all of that. It's not that deep. Well, it is that deep for them. <laughs> for them, it's isn't it? It's not that deep for me. So, um, last thing, how do you think shopping is going to change now, like with this whole COVID thing? No, nah, it's not going to change. I think everyone's going to do exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's just going to, yeah. what is it? The se- September, is it? No, it's September. Say May the 17th. Oh, when back, yeah, yeah, something or like that. Or June. Is, May, is it May or June? There's, there's a, every six weeks, there's supposed to be something that's opened oh, okay. up. So. And then the last one is no mask either, yeah. is it? Nothing at all. You know how weird it's going to be? Like even watching TV and people are out in a bike without masks. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah, facts. It took them, it took them a year. That's all it took. <laughs> Do you know I hate, fam? The world, a year to change our whole perspective on life. Man had a, I, I don't leave my house without a mask. Do you know how stupid that is? Oh, man, I forgot my mask. I'll go back to the house and get a mask. That's long. Fam, look, that the is mask long. is here, big man. Look. That is Pocket long, yeah. Ready. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the mask is there. That's, that's mad long. Just any time I need to draw for it. Like certain times, man but, went out with a mask and something else to draw. Okay, for. okay. Nah, it's Don't just talk the too mask. too much, man. They're watching. Be careful. Yeah, be careful. eh? No, I'm just saying, isn't it? Okay, be just careful. saying. Saying nothing. <laughs> People, broken yeah, yeah. generation. All right, all right. Well, I again, we will be back. We will be back more regular. Make sure you hit us as well on the YouTube, the Spotify, Apple Music. All of that. Anchor. Follow us on all those things. Where else are we? Oh, the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken underscore generation. Underscore podcast. There yeah, we yeah. go. Holler at me, last name Henry. Holler at me, it's Danger ITZ. Start life on where I am. Subscribe to the OnlyFans, man. Oh, it's coming out, yeah? Yo. You know which that one, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> We're out. Yo.